Hey guys, Adam Hart here. I just made it to the Jagged Peak Mountain. Let's go see what's at the top. Yep, another dragon. Oh, you are huge. <laughs> Yo! He's eating me. Good first attempt. <laughs> nice. I really don't want to use the mimic. Let's see if I can beat him. He's so hard though, bro. Dragons are so tough. Nice. Dang, that roar hurt me so bad. Oh my gosh. I think that was a new attack. I don't think we saw that one. Come on, come on. Nice. In this camera turn. I have two heals left. Oh, my health. Look at my health. I'm pulling out my mimic, bro. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, no. That's so cool. Yeah, the mimic's coming out. <laughs> He spawns other dragons! Ooh. Just got our butt handed to us. Good job, Mimic. Go for it. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, we didn't get hit by the third one. I'm gonna go for it again. Come on. Nice, he's like halfway. Hi, Encode. He's so hard, bro. Oh my gosh. The next phase. Oh. <laughs> Next phase, nice. That just summarizes Souls games. Nice, we dodged it. No! Have mercy, bro. Is he having mercy? No. <laughs> 4k damage, let's go. Come on, get behind him. Oh, he staggered. Oh my gosh, let's go. Oh my gosh, this could be it. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, let's go. No. <laughs> I'm literally sitting upright, bro. Like, this could be it. Oof. My mimic's still alive. Good. I need to get behind him, guys. No, no, look at my mimic! Oh! Attack my mimic, bro! Right, come on, come on, focus up. What'd you set? Shockwave, okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't get hit. Let's go. <laughs> I need a drink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hit him! Hit him! Where is he? Yeah, yeah, Come on, let's go! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Mm. Give me his heart. I'm gonna barbecue it now. I don't even want to save it. Oh, let's go, chat. Uh, I'm sleeping well tonight. Yes, sir. <laughs> Curse you, Bill. Curse you. I was gonna end my stream, but like, I'm like pumped up now. So I made some builds that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm using the Black Steel, Great Hammer, and Milady. And I didn't want to use the Rivers of Blood anymore. That's what I did in my very first walkthrough, as you guys saw. But I wanted to get off that and use other weapons and actually get better at the game and try other stuff, you know? And you guys might have fun using my build. So with the Black Steel, Great Hammer build, I'm going to go over all of my talismans as well. This weapon staggers them a lot. I'm using the Wolf Crush Shield. So sometimes I'll two-hand the weapon because of a talisman. I'll show you guys later. But other times I want to use a shield just to use guard counters. Now I can guard with the weapon, but I want to go back and forth because I also want to get a special tier. 
that will allow me to deflect better and I'll show you guys that in a second as well. I also really enjoy just using shields. And then I have the Armor of Solitude for the defense. It has the best defense in the game, I believe. You get it from the Western Nameless Mausoleum near the gravesite Plain Side of Grace, where you begin the DLC. You just ride to the left, right from the gravesite Plain Side of Grace, and the mausoleum is right there. And then you beat a boss, and thus you get the Armor of Solitude and also the Great Sword of Solitude. And I also plan to use the Lion Claw and the Prayerful Strike. I haven't done the Lion Claw yet. That's when you thrust yourself forward, do a spin, and you hit them. And then the Prayerful Strike, you gain some health back when you hit them. The Dragon Communion Seal, that's what I use to buff myself with Golden Vow to give myself and also nearby allies increased power and defense. So I do that before I go into a fight. And then if I'm using my lady, which I'm going to share with you guys as well, that's my other build, I can put grease on the weapon and buff myself. So that'd be really cool. And the other thing was Order's Blade. That raises holy attack damage but i sadly couldn't get because i already finished the game and the capital was burned down and that's where you find order's blade now the talismans i'm using the dragon crest great shield talisman take less damage two-handed talisman do more damage with two-handed weapons that's why i'm going to go back and forth from the shield to two hand in it curved sword talisman enhance guard counters and the sacred scorpion charm that raises holy attack those are the talismans I'm using, and the tier I want to use is the Deflect and Hard tier, which helps you deflect everything for like 5 minutes, so it uses a lot less stamina when you block and it doesn't hurt you as much. And you get that from beating this guy, the Fire Golem, the Fire Furnace, whoever the fudge he's called. So you get the Hard tier from him. Now for the Milady build, I want to use Wing Stance, Ash of War, so you're like Millennia. Talismans I want to use, Dragon Crest, Great Shield Talisman again to take less damage. The next one is Melissa's Prosthesis, boosts dexterity, raises attack power with successive attacks. Wing Sword Insignia, raises attack power with successive attacks. And Relentless Cameo, enhances attacks executed after maintaining the same stance for a while because I'm going to use Wing Stance a lot with Milady because it looks so cool. The tier I'm using with that, Thorn Crack tier makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. So those are the two builds I'm going with. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with them and also using Golden Vow spell to again buff myself. So I use that with both builds. So those are my two builds and let's see how I do fighting this guy and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here we go. So everyone to start off, we're gonna try to take down this thing so we can get the hard deflecting tier for our current build. Wish me luck, I've never killed this guy. I died horribly to him the first day I played the DLC. Okay, run, get out of here. Did that do anything? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so hard to like even evade his attacks. Oh god. 774, okay. 896, 1000. Get a mimic, come on! Okay, a thousand. Motherfucker's jumping. Oh! Oh! We broke him, I think. I was going for a critical, but I didn't see it. We've got seven grand on him right now. 8k. Okay, you dodge that. Maybe that's how you dodge them. You jump and then you roll. We need to keep doing the prayerful strike. It's like the only way. Because then we get our health back. Nice, nice. We broke him. Where's the critical hit? Where do I stand for the critical hit? <laughs> Where do I stand, bro? Oh, probably in the front. Oh my gosh, we're not going to make it. Here? Where do I stand? Oh, in the front. Over here, I think. Oh, nice. We got him. Oh my gosh, 42,000. Can we do it again? Yo, let's go, chat. We're gonna kill this guy. Let's freaking go, baby. That could have been game for me right there. He almost picked me up in his hands. I don't know if this gets my mimic. I don't know if I'm close enough. Please. No, he's gonna die, bro. We gotta make sure we kill this guy. He died. Please don't grab me in your hands. <laughs> Did I just break him? Come on. Let's go. Oh, he could have grabbed me. We got this, bro. We got this. Let's go. 
This is so satisfying. We got him. We should, we should have got him by now. He should be dead. Oh my gosh. This is it, this is the hit. Probably, right? That is so hard to block. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We got the deflecting heart tier. Oh my gosh, yes. He scorched the ground, look at that. That was for you, Alex. Oh, we are good, man. We just got one of the best tiers in the game. What's up, son? How's it going, bro? What's up, brother? <laughs> yes, sir. No, we killed the horse by accident. Last time I fought him, the horse survived and ran away. Of course, it dies on stream, though. We just got the hard deflect in tier. We're gonna test it out on this guy now. Oh, I heard it. I heard the sound. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we got it again. That's so awesome. What it does is it doesn't require much stamina if you block right when you hit them. Or right when they hit you. Yeah, we got it again. Nice. We got it again. Let's freaking go. He was so hard the first time we fought him. Now he's so easy. I love that. Get him better, boys. Now that I tested that out, we're gonna continue. We just got to the Shadow Keep main gate. Let's keep it going, boys. Oh, the hippo! We're fighting a boss already. Oh. Oh. It's going well. <laughs> I don't even want to attack him. I want to see all of his moves. I love that. You, we just discovered this new area and we're already fighting a boss. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> Careful strike. Give me health back. Oh my gosh, we didn't get it off. I rolled. I did it too late. We're getting slammed. We hit him once. <laughs> He missed me. Wow. We've definitely seen his moves. We can get more aggressive now. Which I was totally intentionally uh, not doing. Dude, I need to breathe. Hold on. Yeah. Sheesh. Then I'm going to take it off. Okay. Now we should put up a better fight because I'm not worried about activating stuff. No, I still got eaten. There's one hit. There's another hit. And he's staggered. What'd I tell you? No, I missed a critical. Come on. Yes. <clears throat> What'd I tell you? Let's get a prayerful strike going. Get some health back. What'd I tell you? Nice. Just a new move. Let's go. See, I'm not worried about, like, getting stuff off. So that's why he's golden. I was like, how come he's called golden when he just has two fangs that are golden? Nice, good hit. Good hit, Hippo. This is such a fun boss, bro. I was getting tired of fighting dragons and their red lightning AoE attacks. Oh, nice. Okay. We still have that hard tier flask active. Let's go ahead and get the shield out. Now if I deflect right when he attacks, then I don't require much stamina. Nice, I activated it. Let's go. I just didn't guard counter fast enough. There it is. Need a drink again? Oh. Oof. Nice. Nice. Oh, I didn't get it off in time. Drink. I'm gonna prayerful strike this motherfucker. I can't guard that. <laughs> That's so hard to guard. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I got him. One hit and he's dead. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. What's up, brother? Oh, 
5,000 damage. Oh, almost got shoved off. Wow, I love that. That is amazing. Yeah, Lion's Claw with this weapon is insanely good. We missed. We're getting blessed right now. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> the other guy fell. Can't make that up. Now let me get away from the edge before that happens to me too. Which one do I hate the most? Probably that red dragon up by Bale. He actually got me upset. Like, I was getting frustrated. Oh, this line's call is so good. Oh my gosh. Zigzag. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no, no. Oh. Give me a critical. Come on. Nice. Mm. Oh, so many close calls. We're trying out all these new graces. What do you do? You just shoot that? That's it? Uh-oh. Alright, buddy. What? That did, like, no damage. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, buddy. What the? little midget fell from the roof, bro. <laughs> bro, it's landed on me. We're getting really lucky. Oh, satisfying. Let's go. Try to do my Linus Claw on him, but I have stuff equipped. See you later, brother. Because if you guard counter, which is when you press R2 right after you block, you do holy damage. Like right there. See that? So he actually moved out of the way. This guy knows what he's doing. Okay, what? This guy's a zoner, but when you get close, he knows how to fight close up as well. Alright, come here, boy. <laughs> Got that Lion's Claw, buddy! Oh, then I missed the critical. So Prayerful Strike something I really enjoy on this weapon, but Lion's Claw right there is so useful for closing the distance like that. Yeah, Grim, if you do decide to get it, it is so worth it. Like, the environment is beautiful, the bosses are great. There's a lot of drama surrounding the game about people complaining it was too hard. But that's literally the whole point of Souls games. And if you just take a moment just to improve your build, you'll be fine. I think people that complained a lot, they thought that they would be set because they got stuff in the base game. But I think what you really got to do is build your build with stuff from the DLC. Oh, we got to fight this guy again. Okay, let me just... I'm going to just get aggressive right off the bat. Let's go. I'm going to do this again. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Yeah, Grim, there's, there's no reason not to get the DLC. It has so much content that people have been saying they haven't seen a DLC that good since The Witcher. I've never played The Witcher, but I know a masterpiece when I see one, just from like all the overwhelming reviews it gets, the amount of content in it. The other argument would be, yeah, it's too hard, but it's not if you just take the time to just build your builds. And there's a ton of different builds to do as well. And I'm not even doing a bleed build. If you do a bleed build, you absolutely melt bosses. There's actually a build, it's the most overpowered one in the game. I think it's the Frenzied Bottled build. All you gotta do is like, just you just stare at the ground and activate these bottles and it just blows the whole area up. <laughs> the environment, like, oh yeah, I said that, but the enemies are so amazing too. I love them. We are gonna ride up the back of someone here. <laughs> well, are you supposed to? Okay, okay. What the heck, bro? I swear, FromSoft has like the craziest level design. No, 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 no. They make it in a way that you fall off. No, I'm just kidding. It's my fault. <laughs> I really want a lion's. Oh my gosh, lion's claw on this guy is gonna feel so satisfying. Hmm. Just let me know. What the fudge? This man just kamikaze that. <laughs> oh, 
Nice, we got some new stuff. I'm actually really glad I fell and died because I got a new Ash of War and new stuff. So that right there would be really fun to put on the fire bottle. So another thing I was thinking of, chat, was activating the poison that you spray around you with the poison perfume. Putting the mushroom hat on so you do more damage with the poison. But then switch into poison hand while you have poison triggered around you from the poison perfume bottle. That would be a really cool setup, I think. Where are we entering, bro? What is this? <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm doing great for not being on the game for two years. I just spent so long getting my builds ready. What the heck? So, and it's really paid off, like really, really paid off. What the fudge? Yeah, never mind. I uh, take that back. <laughs> Gotta love the timing. Okay, we're gonna longest claw this little pot. Yeah, I knew that would feel amazing. Oh my gosh, never gonna longest claw the kidney, whatever this thing is. What's up, Allie, Corey, Jr., Logan? What's up, boys? Okay, guys, we are going to use my lady. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Hold on. I know we've been doing, like, the hammer, but let's switch it up, baby. You use this to get Millennia's moveset. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It melts. Whoa. What is that? What the heck is that? Don't underestimate these guys. They're like, ooze, blood. Oh, the motherfucker's alive still. Oh, we were just talking about Rise of the Ronin, actually. I'm not a big fan of that game. I was hoping it would be like Ghost of Tsushima 2 quite level, but I had fun with the combat because it was challenging. My gripe with that was the bosses just felt the same after a while. Eh, I thought that was a life pot. I'm gonna put this on just for you. That looks so cool on the lady. The fudge? He heard that? Yeah, we melted him. I guess we are gonna fight all these guys. Oh, God. Nah, nah. Little pot is jumping us, bro. <laughs> bro saved his brother. How'd that work out for you, mate? Screw it. We kill all the teapots here. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> well, that works out. Yeah, there's the guard counter. Two hits. It's nice. Roll, roll! <gasps> no. Oh my gosh, you just got jumped by three of them. <laughs> Where's the other two? Nice. Nice. Nice! I blocked him. And then I did a guard. And you gotta look at your life and be like, what do I want that I'm not having? And then you need to ask yourself, what are you doing currently? And then you, if you don't change what you're doing, you're just gonna keep getting the same results. And I'm not kidding, I have like, I have like, I have like 15 games that I want to get through. Oh, we broke my poise. At this rate, it would take me like years to like actually play all of them because I don't set the time aside to do them. I think we can continue to stun lock him, right? If I keep doing the light attack on the wing stance. Yeah, that's insane. Bumble says balance is key. Yeah, it is, man. I have, I have trouble with it because it's like, how do you know when to take a break from work? Like, when is it okay just to play stuff and enjoy yourself, you know? Bro, I'll be honest, like, I was recording the other day, it was like, how to get all the smith and stones, which like, you guys will see that video eventually, but, and probably think of this when I say it, but like, I literally like stood at the, the one boss entrance, and like, I just broke down crying, I mean, obviously that's not in the video, <laughs> but like, I was just broke down crying, like, I just stood there for like, 20 minutes, dude, because, um, I was just so unhappy with not really making progress on the things that I want to do creatively because I'm always like worried about work and like recording tips and videos so I made the decision the other day I wasn't I'm not gonna like do that kind of stuff anymore like I mean as much I still enjoy it but I need to like balance 
my stuff better, like Bumble says. And I gotta value myself more than that. Like, my time is worth more than that. If I don't take the time to just play and enjoy stuff, I'm never gonna get through all these games that I've, I've had for, like, forever. I've been wanting to play High on Life and Atomic Heart for, like, I think, like, more than eight months now. It's a long time to, like, postpone a game. I still haven't done it, dude. Me getting on tonight and just streaming is so hard. It was hard for me because um, taking care of my fitness and like eating enough is a whole nother battle I've been trying to balance at the same time. But we finally made it, bro. Like I got my builds improved. But yeah, man, to, for me to get to the stream now a days is like so hard for me. Like it's actually incredible that I'm like just here right now, bro. I don't really get like personal too much on my stream. So I wanted to do that and I want to do that more. These guys have been my biggest challenge throughout this whole part. I just need to do wing stints. That's all I gotta do on you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate your understanding though, Grim, and all that. Look at this old man just enjoying the sunset. You can live. No! He was like one HP! <laughs> he got me in a corner, bro. I shouldn't have gone in that room. There we go. The AoE is hurting me. Oof. We're cheesing it. I don't even know if you would really call us a cheese. Anyway. Now we gotta make it cinematic. Walk slowly up to him. Imagine doing ranged attacks when you're when you're about to enter a samurai fight. Yeah, buddy, come on, buddy. What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong, buddy? No. <laughs> wow. That wing stance is insane. <laughs> you said that is cheese, yeah. What's beyond the door? What if it's not even a boss? What if it's just a new area? I think it might be a new area. Oh. Is this who I think it is? That tarnished, it seemed. Snake. Mother. Wouldst thou truly lordship sanction? Is this Mesmer? So bereft of life. That's Mesmer, isn't it? Oh, look at his helmet! Yet, my purpose standeth unchanged. Hey, man, we got the same helmet. We can talk about this. You know, I have what you're wearing. We must be family, right? <laughs> We're so dead. Yeah, we are. Hey, man, we got the same helmet. We can talk this through. 